What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. Now we're gonna be going over another myth today, but first, you know we gotta run that intro. All right, so the myth for today is the myth of the ultimate technique. Um, guys, there's so many times where I've been uh, either teaching somewhere or talking to some friends or whatever, and they're like, oh, there's this one technique I read online, or one te technique I saw in this tutorial, or one super cool move that always works. And guys, it's not true. This, it's a straight up lie. There is no technique out there that always works. Whether, um, <laughs> there's, there's just no technique out there that always works. Martial arts teaches you a lot of different things, especially traditional martial arts, goes through and teaches you a lot of different basics where they break down every single step you have to go through to do those things. Every single part of a punch, every single step when you block, every single technique, every single intricate technique in a single kick. And all that is great. And you should learn that. That's important to have a base for your martial arts. But all of that is used and adjusted and modified to fit certain situations. What works in a certain situation against a certain person might not work against another person in the same situation. Things around you matter. The situation matters. The person doing it matters. The person you're doing it on matters. All these techniques can be used in different areas. And guys, if anyone tells you that there's a technique with no defense for it or no counter for it, Category you are fake news. They are lying to you or just ignorant, <laughs> like, or just don't know what they're talking about. Because guaranteed, there is a counter for every single attack you could possibly do. And I'm not even talking about using weapons. We can, like, that applies for weapons too, but I'm not even talking about using weapons. It's getting hot in here now, I gotta, gotta. Light up my sleeves. So when you're learning the basic techniques as a white belt, yellow belt, orange belt, going th through the ranks, when you're just getting started, don't think, oh, this will never work, oh, this will never work, because yeah, the technique, the way you're learning it might not be realistic to do in a street fight, but the technique basics, the core of what you're learning can be applied to different situations. You just have to modify it to fit the situation. That's what martial artists do. They are put in a scenario and adjust to it as needed to get the job done. So guys, make sure you fact check. Make sure you go and do some research if you're really interested in stuff like that. Get different opinions. Look at different YouTubers. You look at, uh, go to different schools. Go to different martial arts in-person schools because learning from different people will help you know more and help you be more ready for a day that you have to use your martial arts or even if you're just competing in martial arts it will help you be more ready for those situations i think i can't count how many teachers i've had throughout my life and i wouldn't take any of them back because i learned something from all of them with that said i want you to let me know down in the comments how many martial arts instructors you've trained under whether that's one or 101 let me know down in the comments but until next time don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bar so you don't miss the next video I post up I'm trying to keep up this three video a week we're gonna see how we're still going but hopefully still going all right and hopefully you guys are enjoying the three videos a week that I post but until next time my name is DJ Moore this is the modern ninja and I'm out <laughs>